Hey, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem, Rekwakadash. Yahweh, who the world really calls God. Yahweh Shah, who the world really calls Jesus. I want to give whatever honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who are sought me the truth. I want to give them peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and risk their life to do. So it's going to be a quick video. Low, low willing videos edifying, low willing I can get something from this video. Quick video, man. I'm going to get a couple precepts here. Um, it's a rock six and this is basically going into, you know, basically, you know, proving a friend and not being like minded, you know, um, you have certain situations that you might encounter, you know, being in this truth, uh, especially being younger in this truth and you might be, uh, you might be, uh, like minded in certain areas, you know, and I know, you know, sometimes like. I've had like-minded moments when I was, you know, first, you know, year in the truth, two years in the truth, three years in the truth, and, you know, dealt with certain men that was in the truth or was in our camp at the time. And, um, you know, I had a couple experiences as far as, you know, not all the way proving a person and then, you know, seeing certain shit that they do that they've done that eventually gets brought out and eventually gets brought to the attention of other brothers and then you know punishments go out you know or you know for those men they ended up getting kicked out you know um and i, I mean i've talked about certain stories before i could talk about it all day but really you know that's another video for another time as far as that testimony you know um but you got certain men that are used you know, a title or use their position of power to uh, to do to do wrong, man. You know, uh, you know, ultimately do wrong, and you know, the Lord a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, cancel a person like that. You know, the Lord will get a person like that the fuck away. You know, because is this this thing has to be done in truth and sincerity, man. Okay, and part of being in this truth is it ain't just. You know, doing videos, not just going out to the highways and byways. You know, it's 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 a lot more to it than that. Yeah, that's that's part of the job. You know, that's part of the the, the description. That's what we have to do. But you know, who are you off the camera? You know, who are you in your day to day life? Who are you? Are you really working to be a better man? You know, are you really working to put off certain things? Are you really, you know? Uh, Working to grow in this thing, man, you know, or are you being a nigga, you know, when the camera come off and saying shallow one when the camera turned back on, you know, I guess you had an individual that had GMS on his name and he was using basically that to manipulate, you know, and that's wicked, man. That's wicked, you know, that's wicked. And um, uh, 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 if you do that, how can you say you fear the Lord, man? You know, how can you say you fear the Lord? This thing is not, these are not your men. These are men of the Lord, man. Okay? <laughs> you know, but such person don't fear the eyes of the Lord, man. I mean, it's like this. Such person do things for the eyes of men and don't fear the Lord, man. Here it is, you you this person in front of men and all this and all that. And you could talk, you know, uh, your way into some money. You know, put 10 on the situation you might be going through. And then the brother, being that he feared the Lord and being that he believed he's doing the right thing as far as giving alms, which if you give alms, that is doing the right thing. You know, and you sitting here taking advantage of that. Right. And you got men that have done that in other ways. You know. You got men that have done that in other ways. You know, you know, you got, you know, you can't be, you know, you got men that are be jealous over certain situations or. Just because, you know, that brother's going through a hard time at the moment and you're not going through a hard time at the moment, you might be looked at as wicked, you know. <laughs> you know, we've we seen these things, man. Seen these things, man. Okay? Seen these things, man. Here it is. You know, you might be getting money, you know, for a season or, you know, and that brother might be struggling, but yet you, you know, oh, man, you better be satisfied with what you got. You know, you better be, you know, you better be, you know, you ain't finna be getting it like that. I had a man tell me, man. 
you know, when you come into this truth, you're not going to get no good looking woman, man. Your woman not going to look good. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? Like, but come to find out, you know, the women he was dealing with didn't look good. So he was putting that on, you know, and that's just something small. It's not, that's not anything big. That's just something, that's a small example. You know what I mean? But if he's doing that, imagine what else he's doing. If, you know, and this was a camp head, you know, who eventually got sought out to be wicked, to be deemed, you know, he, he was wicked, you know? But you, you put burden on, on men when you do that. And these, again, these are the Lord's men. You go read Mark 9 and 42. Um, let me try to grab real quick. Mark 9 and 42. You got to be careful what you do, man. Mark 9 and 42, it says, uh, And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were, were hanging about his neck, and he were cast into the sea. Okay? So it, it was better that a millstone were hanging, were hanging about your neck, and you, were, and you drowned to death, than for you to, to offend one of the little ones that believe in Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's why the best thing to do is to deal uprightly and be honest and deal honestly. These men are not your servants, man. Yeah, we serve one another, but ultimately we, we're the Lord's men, Lord willing. You know? These men don't owe you nothing, man. You walk around brothers like brothers owe you something. You, 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 you know? You, uh, you know, you moving around as if like, you know, you, you, uh, you suffering authority over men in a way. One second, bros. Let this dog out, man. You know? And you can't be like that, man. Okay? But without further ado, let's get into this thing, man. This is uh, Sirach 6 and 2. It says, Extol not thyself in the counsel of thine own heart, that thy soul be not torn in pieces as a bull straying alone. Right? When you go into that word extol, it means like, you know, having like pride. Okay, let me jump down to four. It says, A wicked soul shall destroy him that have it, and shall make him to be laughed to scorn of his enemies. A wicked soul is gonna destroy you. Okay? You doing something wicked amongst I man, you doing something wicked, you're gonna be destroyed, man. You know, you doing something wicked to brothers. It's like, whoa, what the fuck? You know, nigga, you know what you're doing? Right? It says, sweet language. Will multiply friends, friends, and a fair speaking tongue will increase kind greetings. Right? So what? Sweet language will multiply friends. You got, you know, you got dudes that are that have sweet language that'll come and you know talk to you. And it, you know what's an example of that, if I'm not mistaken, is when Absalom did it, man, at the gates of Jerusalem. You know, so the people in the city could like him. Ultimately, you know, for his plan. Which his plan got him destroyed, got him killed. Okay. It says, uh, it says, uh, six, it says, be in peace with many, nevertheless, ha have but one counselor of a thousand. It says, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to give to credit him. Because if you give, if you're like minded and you, you, and you haste to give someone credit that hasn't been proven yet, you can get taken advantage of. Okay, again, right? Giving alms is, is, is it's a requirement, man, you know? But you got men that'll sit there and take a bet. Oh, yeah, I could get, oh, I could get 200 over here, 100 over there. Oh, I could get this over here, I could get that over there. You know, this is not, this is not, you're not supposed to move and operate that way. Okay, <laughs> you know? Getting too comfortable with bros. You you didn't fuck around and you know, be a situation where, you know, you might, you know, so called bro might be staying with you and then he driving your car without your without your fucking permission. You know? Doing all kind of shit, man. You know, when we when we deal with each other, when you deal in general, you know, you're supposed to have respect. When we deal with each other, you're supposed to have the utmost respect, man. For one another. It's not a thing to be like, okay, well, I can get over on that, brother, because this and that, bro. That shouldn't be your mentality. You know? It says, for some man is a friend for his own occasion, see? And will not 
abide in the depths of thy trouble. So some men will be a friend, be a be a friend for their own need, for their own incentive, for their own fucking purpose, for their own occasion. Okay? So you gotta prove a friend, right? It says, uh, let me jump down to 10. It says again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of thy affliction. But in thy prosperity, he will be as thyself and will be bold over thy servants. <laughs> it says, if thou be brought low, he will be against thee and will hide himself from thy face. Separate thyself from thine enemies and take heed of thy friends. And this is the mentality and the mind that you have to move with. This is why, like, you know, when you got men on the other side, they don't just come in. They don't, you don't just... It's not a two-week, three-week period, man. Oh, you got to prove this man first, man. You got to prove men first. Not just accept anybody. Because you... You don't know who you accepting, man. This man ain't, you know, you don't know who this man is, man. Prove a man first, man. Okay? Let me grab this. And this is to be it's like it. This this is to be to, to apply. This is to be applied to your daily life. You apply it. You gotta apply apply this. This is wisdom. Apply it, man. Apply it. Sirach nineteen and four. It says, "Uh, he that is hasty to give credit is light minded." And he that sinneth shall offend against his own soul. So if you hasty to give credit, you light-minded. Can't be light-minded, man. Okay? It says what? Let no man deceive thee, man. Okay? Let no man deceive thee, man. You know, we worship the Lord with fear and trembling, man. You, this is, this is deadly serious, man. And the thing to where it's like, oh, you know, oh, like some niggas are just pieces of shit, man. And is and, 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 and it's OK with it. You got certain niggas that's just cool with being a piece of shit as person, man. This nigga's a piece of shit. Right. And is happy about it. Cool with it. <laughs> Don't want to change it. Just accept it. You know, I put that in a, in, a, in a chat the other day, man. I said, uh, you know, a man that basically, a man that sees his flaws and just accept his flaws and convinces himself that that's who he is, that's one of the worst men <clears throat> to be around, man. Now, you're supposed to see a flaw that you have and try to correct it. You're supposed to see if you a hating ass nigga and you been hating your whole fucking life and then it comes to your realization, oh shit, I'm a hater. Change it, man. If you a covetous ass nigga, don't just say, oh, that's who I am. I'm going to be that. And find more ways to covet. No, change it. While you yet still have time. That's part of repenting. Nigga, just sit back and accept who he is. No, I'm a thief. Fuck it. I commit a dojo. That's what I do. Fuck it. All right. Well, all these things have a punishment for it, man. I'm a, I deceive niggas. I'm just to be a deceiver. Like, man, come on, man. It says what? Put off the old man with his deeds. When you come into this knowledge and it's true, right? It says wisdom will walk with you by strict ways, man. She, she's going to try you. She's going to torment you. You know, with her laws. You know what I mean? You got to be willing to change. You got to try to change, man. And this, look, I'm speaking to me first and foremost. It, it's not a thing of staying the same. And then guess what? Year one, year two, you might learn something. You might be going through something year one or year two that you just got the answer to in year five, year six, year seven. And the truth. You might be like, oh, shit, I had to see. I had to go through that. Because now I understood why I, I went through that. It might be a particular demon on you, man, when you first come into the truth, 
that be on you for two, a year or two, two years, three years or whatever, for a season, a week, a month, right? That you have to fight against and that you continually you got to fight against and fight against and fight against. Then when you finally overcome it, then you might be like, you, you come to the realization like, oh shit, I went through that because of this. Because if I didn't go through that, I could have been proud or fell out or, you know? Man, be happy you're an Israelite, man. It's the, it's the basic things, man. We understand what's going to happen to the heathen. Be appreciative and happy that you are a Hebrew Israelite, man. You know? And that right there, you, that right there, because it, it, it seems like you got some niggas that figure out that they're a Hebrew Israelite and then they just probably get on, probably just start hitting them. Bah, bah, bah. Now this nigga just the ultimate, <laughs> you know, the ultimate, you know, now he's talking about who he was in the past. Like, I was there. I was, well, I mean, I was, I was King David. See? And this thing ain't about that, man. And pride is pride is something you gotta fucking destroy, man. Oh man. Oh man. And it's hey man. Ego is a mother, especially being a man, bro. Ego is a motherfucker, man. Cause you feel like you can't be told shit. You know, you get butt hurt, you be in your fucking feelings about shit. But man, I'm telling you, man. One of the things we have, I, man, pride, man. You can't have that, man. You know? You can't have it, man. Or a hottie spirit, you know, what scripture say? Let's see, let's see what it say about that, man. Hottie before. Proverbs 16 and 18, it says, uh, let me go to 17. It's Proverbs 16 and 17. It says, the highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. Pride goeth before destruction and an haughty spirit before a fall. Better is it to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Okay. So better it is to be in a humble spirit, man. And what you always notice is that when you humble, them be your best days, man. You know? You know, you you thankful to get a plate of food. You know? You thankful that, you know, you 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 breathing, man. You thankful that you ain't fucking bugged out. You know, you thankful you get to go to the gym. You thankful you get to get up and grind and hustle and toil and put food on your table, man. You know, you thankful that that you got the mind, and you know I need to I need to read. You you thankful that your mind to get on you when you go off. Hey man, you bullshit. You gotta get you got you gotta do better, man. You gotta be thankful for that mind too. That that spirit in you, man. You gotta you gotta be. Hey man, you ain't doing this right, man. You ain't doing that right, man. You need to be doing that. You need to be watching more. You need to, whatever you like it. You got to be thankful that the Lord put it in you. That 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 friendly reminder. Hey, do right. Get it right. Because there's some niggas that don't want to fucking get it right, man. And they just accept who the fuck they are, man. And say, fuck it. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Fuck it. <laughs> right. And, 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 and guess what? Nigga, nigga be wrong and refuse to change. Because he prideful. Got a fucking ego. So with that, man, little wooden videos, edifying lonely. I can got something from this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rekwa Kadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next show.